Stacy Carr. And I'm Candace Carr. We're here in Port Everglades, Florida, and we're about to set sail on the inaugural voyage of the largest, most revolutionary cruise ship ever built, Royal Caribbean's brand new Allure of the Seas. We're off on a two-night adventure to show you everything that this amazing ship has to offer. For those of you that are not familiar with Allure of the Seas, it is the largest ship in the world. Um, we did something a little bit different with Allure of the Seas. We came out with a neighborhood concept and there's seven different neighborhoods. We have the Royal Promenade, we have the Sports and Fitness Center, we have the Entertainment Neighborhood, we have everything from Central Park, Boardwalk, and the Youth Zone. So that's seven neighborhoods and according to your interests, you're going to gravitate towards these different neighborhoods. The ship is just amazing. Everywhere you go, you see something different. The ship even has Starbucks on board, which just came from the promenade and grabbed a cup of coffee. Um, but there's so much to do, and the ship really captures a lot of different personalities. Um, and that's the beauty of it, that no matter what your interests are, you're going to have multiple things to do on board. We're here at our first neighborhood on deck four. This is called the Entertainment Place. Now this is where you can find lots of different venues, dance clubs, nightclubs, the comedy club, ice skating. The Amber Theater is also on this level. That's where you can catch the Allures. Fantastic production of Chicago. And of course, the sprawling Casino Royale. It's day two of our adventure and we're here at the Royal Promenade neighborhood. Now this really forms the heart of the ship. It's where guest services is. There's nice wide avenues where you can stroll the variety of shops and eateries. Twice a week here they host the DreamWorks Parade where you can catch all your favorite characters from the movies. There's amazing bars and pubs as well. Right here behind me is the Rising Tide, a levitating bar that carries its guests up and down three levels. At the front of the boardwalk, you'll find the Vitality at Z Spa and Fitness Center. Here you'll find everything a spa has to offer, including massages, full hair and nail treatments, facials, you name it, they've got it. You can take yoga, pilates, kickboxing, and even take advantage of the 158 machines this gym has to offer. After working up a sweat at the fitness center, pop on over to the Vitality Cafe and order a refreshing smoothie. Thank you. We have 36 different cabin accommodations on board Allure of the Seas. We have everything, of course, from the inside to the ocean room, balcony staterooms. However, our really unique cabins that we have on board are our loft suites and this is a two-story concept and it's really cool it has the New York urban loft style um, feel to it and then we have the Royal Loft Suite which is 1100 square feet and the balcony is another 800 square feet so these are some great cabin accommodations and then we also have one of my favorite state rooms are the Aqua Theater Suites which are located towards the back of the ship in the boardwalk neighborhood. And the reason they're my favorite is because they have an amazing wraparound balcony that you have the best seat in the house when you're watching the aqua theater show because they are overlooking the aqua theater. So there's just a lot of different cabin accommodations and there's something for everyone. Here we are located on deck six, the boardwalk. This is the place for family fun. Pop into the donut shop, the candy shop, or even the ice cream parlor. All sorts of games and activities here, including the world's first carousel at sea. It's never a dull moment on board the ship. You have everything from multiple um, quality shows. We have full production show of Chicago in the main theater, and then in the aqua theater located in the boardwalk neighborhood, we have um, acrobatic swimmers and divers performing in the evenings. We 
also had an ice skating show which we partnered up with DreamWorks which is a fantastic partnership that we're very excited about. So a lot of different entertainment um, available to you. It's never a dull moment on board the ship and every night is a different night. One night you can go to the Aqua Theater show and watch an amazing production show. Another night you go to the main theater and watch Chicago. And then you can go to the ice skating um, on your third night at sea. So a lot of different activities and entertainment to do on board the Allure of the Seas. Up here on deck 15, we come to our next neighborhood, fully geared towards kids, it's the youth zone. They've got an open activity area, a theater, a science lab. During the day, they've got activities for the kids. They'll teach them jewelry making, scrapbooking. There's an exclusive area just for teenagers called the Fuel Disco. Just outside the youth zone is this wonderful water park called the H2O Zone. The kiddos are gonna love it, check it out. The Allure's stunning open air concept continues here on Deck 8 with this fantastic recreation of New York Central Park. Now during the day this is tranquil and peaceful with winding pathways, real foliage, sculpture gardens, and lots of blue sky extending all the way to the back of the ship and looking out over that fantastic aqua theater that we saw earlier. Then in the evening, Central Park transforms into an active gathering place including street performances, incredible restaurants like Vintage's Wine Bar, and the very upscale 150 Central Park Steak Restaurant. Plus, more than 300 steak rooms rise up six decks over Central Park, reminiscent of the grand hotels overlooking New York City's swank neighborhoods. You will never go hungry on board the Allure of the Seas. There are 24 different dining options available to you. Everything from the main dining room, where you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then we have our wind jammer, which is our buffet style dining option. And then we have a lot of different specialty restaurants. Um, we have the first churrascaria for Royal Caribbean on board. So a lot of, if you're a meat lover, this is the place for you. Then we have the portofinos, which is an Italian cuisine. We have Chops, which is a steakhouse, and then we have the most high-end dining on board is 150 Central Park, and it's actually a seven-course tasting menu. I had dinner there two nights ago, and it was fantastic. And then if you want something on the go, we have Sorrentos, which is the pizzeria on board. If you, want, if you have a little sweet tooth, we have Cupcake Cupboard. Um, we can go and grab some cupcakes, so a lot of different dining menus um, on board, and there, again, there's something for everyone. Okay, here we are in our last neighborhood. It's the pool and sports zone, the most active area on the entire ship. This is where you want to come to soak up rays at one of the Allure's four different pools, including one with a beach. There's ten different hot tubs, two flow riders on the back of the ship. This beautiful miniature golf course behind me. Now there's actually a Hollywood film being shot directly behind us called Jack and Jill starring Adam Sandler and Katie Holmes. So we don't have access to this area back here. But I'm going to show you some pictures of the incredible flow riders on the back of this ship. It's really a unique feature. Folks, thanks for joining us on our tour of this incredible new ship. Don't forget to check out our website at www.sharingcartravel.com. Then link onto our Facebook page, click like, and we'll see you at sea.